Hi, Stephen here from Core Electronics. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the light sensor on the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express in order to make a color matching light wheel, and we're going to use make code to do it. On the top left corner of every Circuit Playground Express, there's an analog light sensor, and this is capable of le reading light or dark, but there's some other exciting things you can do with a light sensor and one of them is to read color. So we'll use the light next to the light sensor. It'll run through a cycle of red, green, and blue and the light sensor will measure the reflected light on each color and then we'll be able to use that to determine what color the object was that was right above it. Another thing you can do with a light sensor is read your pulse by holding your finger over the, the light sensor and have a white light from the LED next to it and then the light sensor will be able to measure the dips in brightness every time your heart beats and more blood pumps through your finger. But today we're going to stick with color sensing. So just to give you an example of what we can expect, when you hold an object directly over the sensor and hit the B button, it will run through the three colors on the nearest LED and measure how much light is reflected from each on each color and use that to generate an RGB value to light up the string of NeoPixels. So let's take a look at MakeCode and see how we do it. In MakeCode, this code's going to be a little different than normal because we won't use the forever loop that's normally in the top left of every new workspace. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to use go straight to inputs. Now these first five inputs have the same bracket shape as the forever loop because they are essentially loops. We're going to use the on bucket button A click and we'll get two of those because the other one will become button B. And anything in these brackets is going to, the program is going to look continuously while the while the board's powered for a click from button A or button B and then execute whatever's inside whenever it detects a click. So it runs exactly like a loop with an if statement in it, but this is just a little more direct. So on button A click, we're going to go into lights and set all pixels to a color. And then on input, we have a bubble down here for ambient color. So this is one of the ways that make code really shines, is that we're able to get some, some very impressive programs already built natively into this drag and drop interface. Um, if you're interested in seeing how, how this is done in CircuitPython, it's actually quite a bit of code and quite a bit of math, math just to do what's in this little bubble that we've dragged in. But in, and for button B, we're going to drag a clear. So well, I've got those backwards. We'll make this button B and this one button A. So whenever we press button B, we'll do a check for the ambient color. And whenever we push button A, it will clear the readings. And this is handy because if you do a check for ambient color while the lights are already lit up another color, then it can throw your results off a little bit. So to put that onto our device, we just hit download. And because our Circuit Playground Express is already connected, it downloads automatically as long as we're using the Windows App Store version of the Make Block or Make Code IDE. So if we took it, take a look again, hit the B button and hold an object just above the board. So it's actually it's actually touching it or just off touching it, and then we got a good color match, and we'll just clear it between each color check. So if you're curious about how to make the same program using CircuitPython. I've got another tutorial video up that details all the code required in order to get the same result. And let me tell you, it's a lot more typing, but if you're a beginner programmer or an educator, using MakeCode, you can get real good results and 
a great fun project with just a few clicks and be able to get people excited about learning to program. So thanks for watching.